might think I'm a worthless bum because I didn't graduate. Well, you can frame your diploma, man, but at least I know how to skate. Yeah, at least I know how to skate. I might not know where New Hampshire is, and I might not know it's a state. I might be bad at geography, but at least I know how to skate. Yeah, at least I know how to skate.
to skate I try not to bother nobody I try not to exaggerate I do my best to stay happy And I always try and relate Sometimes I feel so enlightened Your house is surrounded by huge discount stores and home improvement stores.
Eugene, it was a super bubble. It was like, uh, you just kind of thought that that's kind of like the way most places were. But once I started traveling and getting out, it was then that I realized that Eugene was such a unique, weird place full of like very interesting characters. Before I lived in Eugene, I lived in like the mountains in the middle of nowhere with a house that had no electricity or plumbing or running water. And so going from like that kind of life to here, it was like, this seemed like a big city. My mom has a story of me, like, when we first moved here, I like, was running to my aunt's house, like, turning the lights on and off, on and off, on and off, because I was just, like, so enamored by, like, electricity. When I told people I was from Eugene, people's automatic perception is that it's just, like, a dropout, like, hippie town. Some of that's kind of accurate, but I, I totally, like, resented that idea and that image. People just thought that I was, like, some kind of raging hippie, and I kind of veered the opposite direction and resented being called a hippie. Back in the day, I probably wouldn't have admitted to it, but I spent some time hacky-sacking. It comes with the territory, you know, it's just like part of the curriculum, I think. For sure, at one point, longboarders outnumbered skateboarders in the town pretty heavily. Between, like, the college student and, like, the hippie street lot kids, I think that there was definitely more longboarders than skateboarders. For the last five or six years of the skate shop that we rode for, like, longboard sales kept the whole place alive, you know. <laughs> There's a hippie inside all of us, though some of them don't speak. Some of them don't want to talk, cause some of them are freaks. Most of them like getting high, but mine likes getting higher. Just like throwing gas on the fire. Yes. 
inside my head where all the hippies meet and bounce that little hacky sack around on all their feet well there's a hippie inside all of us though some of them don't speak some of them don't want to talk but some of them are freaks most of them like getting high but mine likes getting higher just like throwing Incense on the dash. 